I'm not surprised because I saw your dedication and commitment and I knew that he who works hard, God will always give him the support to emerge victorious. First of all, let me congratulate the Commissioner of Sports, the Permanent Secretary, and all those who are working closely with you to make sure that what we have today was made possible. Everybody has worked hard. The coach has worked hard. His team, the players, the doctors, everybody, supporters club, have all worked hard. So I want to thank you immensely. If not that you did what you're supposed to do, by setting a record, I'm sure, I'm sure in this country, they would have manipulated you for you not to emerge victorious. The gap you gave to them was impossible for them to manipulate it. And so when victory becomes too obvious, there's no need of stepping down when you know you have lost. I'm sure if you are going to lead with three points, maybe they would have told one club to announce that they are pulling out just for them to make sure they deny you that victory. But the way the gap was, if you like, let three teams withdraw. That will not change it. You know, this country is a country where anything can happen midnight. You know, you can even be playing the football. They announce that, look, so something has happened. That is Nigeria for you. But let me tell you that we are very, very happy. We are very, very proud. When a child goes to school and passes well, the parents must be happy. And the parents will say, look, my child, for this, you have made me happy. This is what I'm going to do in order to encourage you. The Commission of Sports, you are not going to relent just on football alone. What gives glory is not only football, but that aspect of sports is also important in terms of athletics and other things. So while you are working hard as your special advisor, taking charge of River United in my office, you have now been promoted to commissioner because of your performance. And I tell everybody, when you do well, it will not be hidden. Your reward will come at the end of the day. Now you have done well. You have been promoted for special advisor in charge of River Sudan in my office to a commissioner of entire sports. So I have removed everything now from my office. Take and go. Go. Take. Now, you have won the trophy, but that is not enough. You are going to represent Nigeria in the CAF competition. And you know how difficult and technical and the politics in that area. I trust the Commission of Sports. He knows their game. He knows what they do. So that area, I don't have any problem. But you need to put yourself physically fit. You need to be prepared psychologically in order to face other competitors. Africa is not West Africa. We are talking about Africa, not West Africa now. So you have such tax, you must be prepared in order to achieve. Also, as on our own, as government, government must do everything humanly possible to encourage you. First of all, having won this trophy for us, 
you are qualified and the chairman of the of the award is here so we have agreed that each of you will be given governor's medal service award first so all the players on the management team you are now going to have at the end of your name gms governor's medal service award two the Commission of Sports should make sure all of you will go to Madrid for two weeks and train. You know, Madrid is where you can get the best team. So you go there for two weeks and let him prepare with other clubs to enable you be much prepared in the forthcoming CAF uh, competition. Then lastly, I know this is where your interest lies. <laughs> you know, after play these matches, you have all kind of knocks, pains, and this. Something should be able to cushion. Each of you, will go home with $20,000, each of you. Thank you.